fine. I don't need you. Damn, I'm gonna get my own job bro. and my own place with Scott. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Today, we're talking about Darman. I think this is the seventh episode in the Darman series. We'll see how long I keep doing it. I might get bored of it eventually, but uh, yeah, today we're taking a look at uh, this video right here. Husband's sister refuses to move out or get a job. Wife reacts shockingly. Darman. Not even gonna make the joke I usually do, okay? We already know that this is a typical Darman title. This is nothing new. And yeah, I do want to say before I go into this video, make sure to go follow my Instagram at Poncho's Death. I post my booty pics on there, no joke. I'm not even kidding, dude. So yeah, you definitely don't want to miss those. Go follow my Instagram. It's at Poncho's Death. Go follow. Anyways, let's take a look at this video. I can subscribe. So, how long is your sister going to be staying with us? Don't worry. She's going to move out as soon as she finds a job. Okay, well... It's been six months and it's- Okay. <laughs> Six months? How have you not found a single job in six months? I know job searching is pretty hard, but six months, dude, that seems like quite some time. Also, question, why haven't you kicked your sister out if she hasn't found a job in six months, dude? I would have let, made the deadline like three. I'm a strict guy. I'm not trying to have somebody living in my house for free, especially when they aren't trying to go out and really search for a job or something like that. But then again, I don't really even know what's going on so far. We've only played like 10 seconds, so let's just keep going. Starting to feel like she's taking advantage of us. Oh, you made breakfast. I was okay, yeah, she's definitely uh, taking advantage of you. I felt like that was very obvious there. What will the lady do? A, not do shit. B, poop. C, a uh, fart. Don't really even know where I was going with that. I think my mind got a little carried away. Yeah, no, she's definitely taking advantage of you, though. Uh, she kind of just walked out and ate your own breakfast. Uh, I feel like that's a very obvious sign there. Going to eat that? But sure, you can have it. I'll just make another one. Great, because I'm, I'm starving. Mmm. <laughs> Finally, the package I ordered. I just finished the dishes. Would you mind washing your own plate? It's just one plate, what's the big deal? Uh-uh, nope, nope. If anybody told me that, I would have been like, Boom! That lady has the balls to tell that other lady to wash her plate, dude. What a savage. Let me catch some random dude in my house or some random girl in my house telling me to wash her own plate after I just told her I got done with the dishes, okay? It would be going down. <clears throat> hey, Ashley, uh, shouldn't you be heading out right now? Isn't your job interview at 9? Mmm. I decided I'm not going to that. What? Why? Because <laughs> I couldn't get up on time. <laughs> And who schedules a job interview that early anyways? Uh, well, you know, just about everybody that cares about, uh, a career. I've had to wake up at, like, 9 a.m. for a job interview before, which isn't really too early. To some people, 9 a.m. is, like, the crack of dawn. As much as my sleeping habits are terrible, dude, I think it's great to wake up early, dude. I feel amazing whenever I wake up at, like, 7 a.m. I got the whole day. I don't have to be waking up at, like, noon or 1 p.m. Like I did today, by the way, uh, and I actually felt like crap waking up. Half of my day is already wasted. Uh, I'm going on a tangent for no reason right now. I should focus on what's on what I'm watching. Yeah, I mean, normal people go to job interviews at just about any time because, you know, there's a career possibly uh, awaiting you on the other side of that interview, so I don't know why you wouldn't take it seriously, especially if you're trying to get a job. <laughs> so you have money to buy new shoes, but no money whatsoever to help out with the groceries. Uh, yeah. These heels are a necessity. I literally know girls like that in real life and they make me want to kill myself. People that just like glamorize materialistic objects in general, those are the, just the types of people I just kind of despise. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be one of those people. Pretty embarrassing, I know, but dude, like these are possibly like one of the worst types of people that you can ever surround yourself with, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that she even said her heels were a necessity, like bitch, go scrub the goddamn floors of, of a Wendy's, okay? You guys, this is Scott. My boyfriend. <laughs> Hi. I just wanted to say thank you for letting me live with you for a little bit. After my mom kicked me out, I don't know what I was gonna do. Wait, what? He's going to be living here? Well, just for like a little while, you know. Uh, no. 
this isn't your house. I swear to God, if somebody were to do that to me, it would be game over right then and there. I would just say, nope, pack your bags, goodbye, adios, see you later. You can't just invite somebody to live with you in somebody else's house that isn't even in your name. Like, wh what normal person thinks that? I know that this is a Darman video. Don't get me wrong. This is all scripted, but I I'm taking this as if it were a real situation. Look, I'm sorry, but... um. I think it is time that you moved out and got a place of your own. What? You know I'm going through a really hard time right now. You don't want to help me? Of course I want to help you. You're my little sister, but actually there is a difference between trying to help somebody and letting them take advantage of you. Damn, holy shit, damn, Darman, you hit me right there in the fields. Darman, I legitimately felt that in my heart, okay? I'm, it's real sad hours right now. You got me really just thinking right now, dude. The husband and wife stand there as they watch Ashley storm out of the house. Darman. Now that Ashley isn't able to rely on her brother anymore, she takes finding a job a lot more seriously. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Soon enough, she gets hired by a company. Nice. Ashley and Scott end up getting a new apartment together. They couldn't be happier. Things look like they're all on the up and up. That is until Scott invites his sister to move in. Boom! She's about to get a taste of her own medicine right now. I, I'm calling it, okay? It's it's a typical Darman video, all right? That's just what's gonna happen. Dude, if you don't believe me, all right, watch it happen, dude. I, I promise I haven't watched ahead. This will happen, though. She quickly makes herself at home without even consulting with Ashley. Months go by, and not only does Scott's sister not pay rent, she also never helps out around the house. Okay, I think you guys get a gist of the, what this video was about, okay? I called it, though. I, I was right. Anyways, I'm gonna get one of my buddies' point list to uh, take over this video, so definitely go subscribe to him. He's at around 20k. Let's get him to 24k, okay? Let's let's try to do that by tomorrow. If you don't make it happen, uh, I'll cry. Anyways, he's gonna be taking a look at another Darman video, so yeah, point list, take it away. Yo, what's up, Darman fam? The weekend here. Now, Poncho asked me to go ahead and hop on this video and talk about our favorite YouTuber, all right? The most inspirational man to ever be created by Jesus Christ himself. And you know, how could I decline this? Because every time, you know, I'm sitting in the corner of my room, sad, crying, because I have absolutely no friends, I always turn on a Darman video and just think to myself, wow, my, my life is just honestly amazing. How could I be so sad when you had this inspiration? The God of all gods, making content every day, having me hop out of my bed faster than a kid on Christmas Day. Now, the video I'm gonna be reacting to has a more powerful message than a nuclear test in the middle of the Nevada desert. So, uh, yeah, you, you gotta get prepared for this, Alright, don't get caught lacking. Now, supposedly, from the title of this video, a teacher accuses their student of uh, doing some Ill illegal things, having some illegal substances. My boy was cooking up the fairy dust in the back of the magic school bus, so, uh, yeah, let's prepare ourselves for this insanity. Now, before we take a dive into this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, alright? Uh, my name is Pointless, uh, I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers, the goal by the end of the year is 100k, so if you guys can contribute to that, that would mean a lot. Anyways, let's go. Janitor found what? right here in your classroom. Just keep an eye out for anyone who looks suspicious. Listen, we're not even that far into the video, and based off of that little dialogue right there, we already know we're about to have some heavy stereotypes. I mean, let's keep it real here. We already know Darman has some of the best actors on the market. I mean, he has so many Leonardo DiCaprio level actors, so I mean, I, I don't know what we're sitting here, you know, surprised about. And I know this is off topic, but why does the teacher have a bowl cut, bro? Like, it, it, what, why can't you get these actors a better fit? Like, Darman, at least, at least drip them out in some Gucci. Like, this is disgraceful. I can't believe Darman is actually allowing this insanity in his classroom. You know, that's it. I'm honestly about to call up my homie Barney and see if he can do something to this man Darman. He, he's violating right now. Oh, I will, all right. I'll make sure we catch him. Exactly. What did I say? I knew it was going to be some stereotyping in this video. I, I already caught it. I mean, it's just obvious. Look at this woman. Look at her entire build. Her and this man, Briz, got the same exact cut. Like, literally, look. It's the same exact haircut. Like, she has the nerve to stereotype anyone, and she's looking like a Cabbage Patch doll, bro. I do not want to hear anything coming out of this woman's mouth. That school is not paying you enough money to have that attitude, Susan. I'm sorry. Like, this poor kid is just trying to enjoy his life, alright? Go to school, get it over with, because none of us like school. Let's keep it a buck here. Like, I'm 
I'm willing to bet all of you, all of the millions of Robux I have, that none of us here has ever went to school and said, yeah, I, I love this place, it's great. So they doing my boy wrong, all right? He's posted in class trying to get this over it, trying to move past this scary story. And then you got that vegan teacher with the bowl cut trying to accuse him of something he obviously didn't do. Marcus, where's your homework? I, um... Uh... Don't tell me you didn't do what you had all weekend. Look, I'm really sorry, I just... I've been really busy the last couple days. Now, I really feel bad for my boy Marcus, but why did Darman have to do him so dirty? Why is he wearing this hood like that over his head with those sunglasses, bro? I'm sorry. This has to be, like, literally the worst Darman video I've seen. Like, listen, Darman's channel, it, it's something else, but like, what is this? It's literally just full of clowns. Like, I get it's a school environment, and they aren't supposed to be wearing, you know, the newest designer, but, bro, when I go to my school, nobody is wearing this, all right? I'm gonna be 100%. Even my teacher's got some form of drip, bro. Like, if you're gonna go ahead and do something like this, do a video like this, Darman. At least have a proper representation of school, because I'm telling you, Darman, 2009 is no longer here, all right? We're living in 2021. Everybody has the newest iPhone 11. Gucci belts and Yeezys, bro. So come on now. You gotta up your game, Darman. Look, can I please just have one more day to finish it? No. I'm giving you an F. Whoa, whoa, settle down, Orange fan. All right, I, I know you're not having the best of days. But, bro, after school, can you at least go hit up the salon and, like, get a new cut or something, dye your hair blonde? Because I'm telling you, it's burning my eyes just looking at her hair. I see why my boy has on sunglasses now. I would, too. As a matter of fact, I, I, wait one second. I know you guys can't see me right now, all right? But listen, I just went to my closet, got my sunglasses, and uh, I'm shielded. We're good. I suggest you all do the same because uh, my eyes are literally about to pop out. Like, this woman is literally just ruining my entire day. I'm gonna be 100% real, though. I low-key did have a teacher like this who would just give me Fs, like, for every single thing I would do, and it was kind of annoying. Just another one of many reasons why everybody dislikes school, bro. Imagine having to go to school every single day having one of these type of teachers. It it's pretty much a Karen. Like, this woman's pretty much, the like, the book definition of a Karen. It is not that hard. I know, I know, I'm just, I'm having a really hard time concentrating. Uh-huh. And why is that? Are you trying to hide something? Is that why you got those sunglasses on? No, 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 no not at all. No? Okay. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. Bright red. Yeah, of course, you should have known. Uh, th this woman was honestly just looking for a reason to accuse this kid of anything, and this is exactly why teachers will never ever have my respect. Bro, her hairline is so far back, that's all I was concentrating on this entire video, bro. Like, I, I can't even look at it properly. Like, I don't know what was further back, my grades when I was in school, or her hairline when she was just touching 20. I know. The past couple days, I've gotten, like, no sleep. And what, what happened was... Oh, I, I was knew it was you. What? What was me? First you don't turn in your homework. Then you fall asleep in my class. And you come up here with these bloodshot eyes. Admit it. You're on drugs. Yeah, okay, woman. Go ahead and uh go to the salon, hit up hit up the hit up the barber or something. Go just just get a bald fade at this point. I can't deal with you anymore. Long story short, what ends up happening is there's a basically an entire long explanation, and then you have Darman commentating over it, you know, like his normal given the entire like don't judge a book by its cover it, it's it's covered. Don't judge a book by its cover explanation. But uh yeah, that's really all I gotta say for my part of this video. Thank you, Poncho, for having me on. I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed my part, go ahead and up to my channel we're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year it would really mean a lot and without further ado i'm gonna head out and i'll see you guys over on the channel peace hope you guys enjoyed pointless's part if you did make sure to go uh, drop him a subscription i'm sure he would really appreciate it and yeah fellas with that being said i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day if you guys did enjoy this whole entire video make sure to leave a like on it and if you want to see more content from me in the future then feel free to subscribe i would really appreciate it and yeah fellas make sure you guys are living your best lives all right make sure you guys are uh i don't know uh uh, staying hydrated, staying healthy, all that good stuff. I'm just trying to give you all the best advice here, okay? Trying to keep them positive vibes going, all right? No negative vibes on the Poncho channel, all right, dude? <laughs> Whatever, all right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.
That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes.